All right, gentlemen, welcome. This is the Panamax high voltage test box demonstration. I'm Marshall Kerr, the national trainer for Panamax, and this is my secret little magic box that's going to generate today for us 200 volts. So I'm simulating 200 volts because 200 volts isn't quite a lightning strike, but it's definitely far more voltage than any television set or audio receiver should ever see. And 200 volts is um, a somewhat normal circumstance because with grid shifting and other power anomalies, you can have over voltage sustain for two or three seconds, sometimes two or three minutes in a household. It's not, not uncommon. So when I light up this box here, this light bulb is representing 120 volts. And when I hit this light bulb with 200 volts, the light bulb will light up considerably. There you go, right there, that's 200 volts. So 120, 200. It's an oven light, so that's why I can take the added heat. There's the 200, there's the 120. So when I disconnect it and connect the Panamax product, and this Panamax pro product features automatic voltage monitoring. This is really key to understand. Automatic voltage monitoring is our over voltage monitoring circuit. So AVM senses the incoming input voltage and is seeing as the AVM circuit has an operating range of 90 to about 140 volts. Because this box is generating 200 volts, the AVM circuit will sense that voltage and cut the power to the light bulb. So you'll see the light bulb flicker for a second and then shut off immediately because it's actually a two-stage system of protection. But AVM will sense the over voltage. As you can tell there, it's passing the 120 volts. And when I hit the Panamax product with 200, it'll flash just for a second because it senses the 200. And then when I let go, it automatically reconnects the electricity to the light bulb so your television set will run properly. Again, you'll watch the unsafe voltage light, the AVM will kick in and automatically disconnect that power. The reason why the light bulb flashes just for a split second is because there's a two-stage circuit, one that monitors catastrophic you know, uh, situations like a lightning strike, and then the AVM circuit that monitors just the over voltage. And when I connect, disconnect the Panamax, and when I connect the competitive product, by the way, this is an example of what happened earlier. That's our uh, former competitive product. When I can connect this competitive product to the Panamax and connect the light bulb to the competitive product and flip it on, I've got the 120 volts. It's passing that. Congratulations. When this B stings me, okay, so when I connect the, um, after this is connected, this is 120 volts. A couple things to look for. When I hit this product with 200 volts, one fundamental thing you don't want to happen is you don't want the competitive product to pass the electricity. Ideally, it should disconnect itself or prevent that 200 volts from reaching your television set or your premium device because your device isn't supposed to see the 200 volts. That's the idea. So one thing to watch for is when I hit with 200 volts, you don't want the lightning bulb to light up. So I'm going to hit it right now, and if you hang it over the side of the table, please. If you pay attention, <laughs> watch your fingers. <laughs> Here's the so watch the light bulb as I hit it with 200 volts. It's lighting up. That's obviously a bad thing. And the product can't make it. <laughs> this is behind your rack. That's behind your television set. This wasn't it's important to understand, everyone, this was not a lightning strike. This was only 200 volts. This happens throughout the day, potentially sometimes several times throughout the day, and your device needs to protect against it. Again, this is a demonstration of the automatic voltage monitoring circuit and sustained over voltage. That is my time. I really appreciate it. I'm glad no one was hurt. Thank you so much.